Okay, so here we are in uh, just outside of Frisco, Colorado. We're at, what is it, about 10,000 uh, feet above sea level. So what we're trying to do is figure out how to build a fire that's sustainable for cooking and keeping you warm in the snow. So we came out here to find a good patch of snow. It wasn't so hard to find. Um, we've got about knee deep snow here. It's packed down a little bit now because we've been walking around. We, uh, we put some spruce boughs on, on the snow and then we built this fire on top of the spruce boughs. The idea was that the spruce boughs themselves would, uh, would get wet on the bottom and that they kind of keep the fire from sinking all the way down into the snow. The fear is that obviously like the heat of the fire is going to make the snow turn to water and put the fire out so it wouldn't be usable. So you can see how this fire is like sunk in a little bit, but it's actually doing quite well. And this is, uh, what about an hour in, two hours in. So this is a fire that's built on spruce boughs. Nice bed of coals. We're gonna cook some fish and some hot dogs and whatever else on here in a few minutes. Let's go over to this fire a second. So this one over here, it's a smaller fire and like we said we're doing an experiment so we built another fire right on the snow itself surprisingly enough it's not sinking all the way down I guess the my thought is that the bottom of the fire is kind of creating a plate that uh, keeps the fire afloat almost so it like stays wet down there but the heat is on top and the cool I don't know how it's working exactly we could think about it but sublimation more than melting more than melting all right but we can still see that without the spruce boughs it's really sinking in quite a bit uh, you got these sharp edges around here I think eventually what will happen is that they'll sort of collapse in and put the fire out so I think it's definitely more sustainable to create that that like some kind of boughs some kind of living um, wood and leaves and then build the fire on top of that and that's what this fire is right here Seems like it worked quite well.